So I get that this is like a little joke, but this actually got me thinking. I've never really cared about my body count. I've never really tried to keep up with a number, but I just have to like really think about it and think about how many people that I've done that with off camera or not for like entertainment purposes. Because I also used to do live shows in clubs and then also uh, webcamming and things like that. And I used to escort all that kind of crap. If I'm only going off of the people that I've done that with for free without any money involved, my body count is 15. Stop the cat! Like, it isn't like a small number Stop the cat! But I bet it's a little bit lower than most people expect Stop, from me. Stop the cat. I don't know. Stop you, the let cat. me know if that surprises you. I, I don't know. But yeah, my, my body count is technically 15 if we're going off of that. So I get that this is like a little joke. Stop the cat. We not finna do that. If the wood got inside your fire, it count. Even if the wood was in the fire for two seconds, it still count. Even if the wood was in the fire uh, for, for free, for profit, it still count. That makes sense? Does that make sense? I, I'm trying to... I'm trying to Say it in ways that YouTube not going to uh, flag this video. But basically what she's saying is that because all the sex that she been having was paid for, she don't consider those body, those as, as bodies. She don't consider those as bodies. No, bitch. You, you a serial killer. We not finna do that. <laughs> we... <laughs> We we not finna do that. You you a serial killer and that's that. And I ain't nobody gonna judge you for it. Like I don't judge you if you honest about who you are. Be honest about who you are and what you have done. What are your pronouns? Uh either she, her, or they them. What does they them mean? Uh pretty much it's when I'm feeling more of not gender confined, like pretty much no gender. I choose to go by they them. So you don't feel like a gender sometimes? Pretty much. Like, I'm still questioning what my gender is. Like, So how does that process work? <sighs> Bitch. You evil was born with a... with a... Or you was born with a... That's it. If you was born with some poom poom, you a female. If you was born with a penis, you a male. That's it. Male? Hold on, what the fuck? If you was born with a poom poom, you a female. If you was born with a... See, she confusing me. If you was born with, 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 with a penis, you a male. Male, female. Now, the only how I would accept that they and them is if you was a, a, what, what you, a hermaphrodite. You was born with both. If you was born with both, then I'd be like, damn, cuz. <laughs> you were them. You know what I'm saying? But come on. Come on, son. We not, we not, we need to stop this, bro. We need to stop this. You're messing up the English language. You know what I'm saying? When when I was in school, they and them was plural. And now y'all using it for other things. Y'all is using it for other things. Y'all messing it up. That's why I'm scared to send my son to school. Because now... Mm. Um, pretty much just I'm playing around with different gender identities and different pronouns until I figure out exactly which one. And so some days you feel like a what and some days you feel like a what? Some days I feel she, her. Other days, like today, I'm feeling more no gender. Wow. What are your pronouns? This heifer said no gender. This heifer said no gender. <sighs> bro, I ain't, look, I don't want to get canceled by the alphabet community, bro. But please, I, I really feel as though this is a perfect case of you give a motherfucker an inch, they're going to take a yard. This this is this is what this is. You give somebody an inch, they're gonna take a yard, bro. So my wife has been making a lot of food. Hey, what's up? <laughs> and she just made Nigerian food. It's called jollof rice, and it's so fire. I'm gonna show this to you guys right now. Oh my gosh, that's the rice in the pot. Just look at all of that, everybody. Ugh.
Bro. I'm not even I'm not even African and I know that ain't no damn jello off rice, bro. He in the sunken place, dog. He in the sunken place. Now I ain't gonna hold you. Jell off rice. Jell off rice will send your ass to the bathroom. But you know, you you know what you signing up for. This this right here, shit. and he making sound effects. Yeah, that don't. She got him, son. Africans don't even make them type of noises. So good. Look at my husband stirring his jollof. Okay, Kev. Okay, Kev. Oh, my wife has been. Hey, bro, blink twice if you want me to come extract you, bro. If you need to get out, blink, blink twice. I'm trying to figure out why the f*** you doing all that when you the person? So what the f*** you crying for? I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Why are you crying? I'm dead. 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 Hey, bro. If it's that good, like, I don't want it. What about the shit you done did to me? Like, bro, you so weird. Uh, uh, get back, get on my phone. 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 Get on my it ain't funny, but I know I'm fed up from time, bro. Please get right, bro. Please get right, bro. Please, I don't want nobody to see me. Please, my mom. Hey, bro. Hey, I'm letting you know right now. If it's that good, and it's gonna have me like that, I don't want it. I do not want it because hey hell no nah, ain't no vagina finna have me like that bro I'm mm -mm. I don't want it if it's that good if it's gonna have me doing that I'm good bro she keep that shit to herself that that motherfucker pussy need to be locked up like he he cry you you know when you was younger and your parents whooped your ass and you was trying to talk and you <laughs> He doing that. He doing that. I'm good. Mm. Actually, bro, I need to. <laughs> hey, bro. Do that shit on my laptop, bro. Ain't no way. I'm good, bro. How come you're so beautiful? Um, I feel like God made me that way. And it's God's gift. I'm not gonna lie. You look burnt. <laughs> Oh, yo. Hey, nah, he's out of order. He's out of order. That's foul. Oh, sh He out of line for that. <laughs> he out of line. I wasn't expecting that. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Is it like a I purpose? Mean, I, well, no, actually, I do. Like, I laid out yesterday, so that's probably why. If I touch you, does it go, does it go white? No. Huh? Cut this right here? Yeah. Interview, huh? A little yeah, bit. Interview. You don't think you'll get cancer from that? Um. Personally, probably, but, you know. Fuck it. Yeah, yellow. How come you're so beautiful? That was a stupid response. Cancer ain't no joke, my girl. Please. Don't say YOLO. Cancer ain't no joke. I guess because she... He caught her off guard, but... Saying YOLO about cancer? Mm -mm. How old are you? 21. Where are you from? Guatemala. What do you look for in a guy right now? He's funny and he treats me well. What about the money? Nah, I don't care. Not at all? No. So he doesn't even have to make 100K? No. Let's say you made 100K. How much should he make? I don't care. I really don't care about money. What do you care more about then? His personality. Yeah. 
Yes. So let's say I wanted to take you on a first date, right? Where would you want to go? Maybe to eat something, I don't know, to a restaurant. What if I said, let's go to Burger King? It's okay. I love Burger King. What's your favorite thing on the menu? Uh, hamburger, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care. Okay. What gave you that mentality? I don't know, maybe my, my parents uh, raised me well. So I never really care about money. How old are you? Uh, kings, 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 find her, find her, I'm married, so, you know, I, I'm already taken, find her, kings, what, see, women like that deserve to be spoiled, because she's coming into the situation not one, not expecting, not wanting to be spoiled. She deserved it. She said, we can go on a date to Burger King and it won't matter. Now, I, I worked at Burger King, so I, I, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't take you there because I, mm -mm. <laughs> I wouldn't take you to Burger King. I, I understand what be going on in the back. Especially when we about to close. Yeah. Yeah, I used to work the closing shift. Let's just say... The you're not going to find the love of your life tree. in a club popping a bottle. Absolutely not. Unless you're giving me a slice of pizza, I don't want to hear it. The love of your life could be right in front of you feeding you pizza. You wouldn't even know it. Yeah, you wouldn't even know it. Oh, you know what I want? A healed hey, what's, man. What, what's shut your, up. What's shut up. Instagram? No, no, what's no, your Instagram? He looks what? like a nice guy. Oh. Nice guy. Oh. oh. Would you date him? I don't make enough money for him. How the f*** do you know that I like money? I can tell. I'll tell you this right now. I'll you ain't <laughs> wrong. You're not gonna find the love of your life street. in a club. First off, my boy, she wouldn't have been eating my pizza. I'd have said no. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's that's one way you could have gotten her attention because she's probably used to getting what she wants. And simple thing like denying her that slice of pizza, she would have remembered you. <laughs> she would have remembered you now. I'm going to be real with you. She would have remembered you. As a matter of fact, I'll give y'all an example. I'll give y'all a perfect example. Never told my wife this story. She's probably going to see it now. Um, When I went to school, I came out here, went to the Art Institute, which they closed down. <sighs> I ain't even going to get into that. But I went to the Art Institute, bro. First day I came for orientation and to get my schedules for my classes, you know, I'm fresh from New York, so we dressed different in New York. At that time, 2007, we dressed in New York very differently from the way they dressed in the South, okay? The way they dressed in Atlanta, they wasn't dressed, the way they dressed in Atlanta now, they wasn't dressing like that in 2007. I'm going to tell y'all right now, so when you come out here from New York, people can automatically tell because your whole, your whole swag was different, Okay? Apparently, um, this chick had given me a compliment on my outfit, and, like, I ignored her. I gotta fast forward so, so y'all can get what I'm saying. A few months down the line, they had, like, a house party or whatever, or a room party. We used to have a lot of room parties at Metro Point. I went to the party, and we all were sitting there drinking and started a conversation with a group of people. So this chick, was talk she was talking to me or whatever, and she was... She was gorgeous, bro. A lot of dudes in there was on it. When I said they was on it, they was on it, right? And I seen her too, and I was like, damn, she looked good. But again, I had a girlfriend, so I wasn't on it like that. So we started talking, just carrying a regular conversation. My boy was like, hey, bro, I think she like you. I'm like, nah, I don't think so. He like, yeah, bro, I think she like you. She got in the conversation, and she got to saying, yo, you know I spoke to you before, right? I was like, for real? She's like, yeah, during orientation, um, I gave you a compliment on your outfit. And, like, you treated me like I wasn't there. I was like, what I said? You just gave me a head nod. I was like, for real? She said, every time I see you get on the shuttle, I think about that day when you pretty much treated me like I, I wasn't there. I was like, damn, my bad. I, didn't even, I don't even remember anybody giving me a compliment on my outfit. 
I said that and she paused like. Fast forward throughout the year, bro. Every time she see me, she wanted to carry a conversation. But here's the funny, <laughs> here's the crazy part too. I'm going to say this. Women's intuition is real as this is how women, this is how you I know women's intuition is real, right? Fast forward to the end of the school year, a situation happened where my boy Juan ended up having to go to the hospital. Shorty was dating one of my boy Juan's friends. So she ended up coming to the hospital too. So it's me, my girl, her, her boyfriend, and a group of like other people, group of other females. I swear to God, bro. The first thing Danae said when she came around this bitch was, "Yo, I do not like her. I don't know what it is, but I do not like her." Did you fuck her, RJ? I was like, no. And then my mom, bro, I ain't gonna lie, my heart was racing. I'm like, bro. I'm glad I ain't fucked this bitch, bro. What the f? How you don't like her? You don't even know her. So yeah, bro. Two things you learn from that. It's good to play hard to get. In that situation, I wasn't playing hard to get. I just I don't know. I I like who I was back then, bro. I was more confident and like, you know, a lot of shit didn't really intrigue me like that. So the fact that I ignore her without even knowing, bro, it could have worked out in my favor. Like I probably could have been spanking them cheeks the whole year. Um, but also, women's intuition was real. Denea met her, and, like, within 15 minutes of being around her, she was like, Yo, I don't like her. I don't know what it is. I don't like her. And I'm like, bro, she here with her boyfriend. Like, what the fuck? She's like, yeah, I, I just don't like her. 